Greetings, mathematicians. Let's take a look at our notes. Let's put in our date. Today, we are on unit two, lesson two, read, write, and model decimals. That's gonna be 15L and 15R. If you need a second, you can write it, you can pause it. Otherwise, stick with me. All right. I am on 15L, 15R, let me zoom out. And I am relatively blank today, so I'm gonna be doing this live. 15L, 15R, and let's zoom in on the thing that doesn't change, our setup here. So this is our title, Unit 2, Lesson 2, Read, Write, Model. Oh, decimals. Let's put on our date, nine blank, Right, let's take a look at this learning objective together. Read it with me. I will read, write, and model decimal numbers into the thousandths place. One more time. I will read, write, and model decimal numbers into the thousandths place. Now, if we can dissect this just a little bit we're talking about reading numbers, means we can see and identify. When we talk about writing them, we're going to be writing them three ways. We'll, we will write them as numbers, as words, and their root powers. When we talk about modeling, we're talking about drawing. So we might have to draw some models to show parts and holes using decimal. And when we're talking the thousandth, we're talking 0 0.001 or zero, doesn't really matter. This place value is our thousandths. Our th third place over from the decimal. All right, let's look at our vocabulary. We have two, or I'm sorry, we have four different vocabulary words here. First one, read it with me, standard form. And when we talk about standard form, we're just talking about number form. So as a number, when it's written as a number. The example I will give you is 1.5. So as a fifth grader, I would read one and read the whole number, 94. And then what place is the four in? That's in the hundredths. So I would read it one and 94 hundredths. Now, if you can determine what the value is off of the standard form and you can say it out loud, we can write it as we say it. So as one would, as one would speak it. So if you were to speak that number, it would look like one and, and for our decimal, 90 
four. And then the last digit tells us the place value. So I'm running out of space, I'm gonna go lower. Hundredths. Simple as that. Word form. Expanded form, you did this stuff last year. I'm gonna change up our number just a little bit and I'll show you a few different versions of it. So in fourth grade, you looked at an, a whole number like 194 and you said it was equal to 100 because the one is in the hundreds place. And the nine stands for 90 and then the four. This is the fourth grade version of expanded form. Um, we can apply this to uh, decimals pretty easily. So let's go back to that um, 1.94 and we can say that, well, let's go with 11, 11.94. 11 so make it a little more visual. So the first one is in the 10, so it'd be one times 10 in parentheses, plus the next one is in our ones place, one times one plus nine. What place is the nine in? It's nine times one tenth plus the four is in the hundredth. So I'm going to say four times one hundredth. And oops, made a mistake here. That's our powers of 10. EF powers of stands, uh, stands for extended form powers of 10. So original standard form, now we're bringing it to fifth grade. Expanded form powers of 10. All right. And let's take a look at one or two samples. Make this a very short round of notes. I had an asterisk up here, I'm not sure why. Let's get rid of it. Let's go with 12,402. So this is our standard form. So I'm gonna to start to abbreviate SF, not San Francisco. It's gonna be our standard form is 12,402. Let's go with word form or WF would be 12,000, four hundred. And here's the thing. We are not going to say and two because and means decimal. We're just going to say 400, two. So 12,000 comma 402. So just like when we have it in standard form, we want to use those commas as breaks. So we're going to say 12,000. So 12 is in the, two is in the thousand place. So 12,402. Pretty easy. Let's go with regular old expanded form. Expanded form would be one times, what places the, the one in? 10,000. Oh, I'm sorry, doing the wrong one. Let's try that again. That would be 10,000 plus 2,000 plus 400 plus two. This is our fourth grade expanded form. Now, fifth grade, our expanded form powers of 10 EFPT would look like Start with the one, one times 10,000. It's kind of silly. Plus two times 1,000 plus four times 100 plus two times one. So we're using our parentheses to break down the value of each one. Now notice this example, was there a decimal or no decimal? That's right, no decimal. So we can do all four of these forms without a decimal. Let's look at it with a, a decimal problem. Let's go with, hmm. 
Next example, standard form. Eight point three zero five. So I'm saying I have eight holes, and then this is what's part of one. So we need to ask ourselves, what place is the five in? The last digit. The three is in the tenth. The zero is in the hundredth. The five is in the thousandth. So I know when I write this out in word form, my last label will be thousandth. So let's go for word form. Eight decimal. And I'm going to read the whole number here. What is it? 305. So I'm going to write 305. I'm almost there. I need the label. And I'm going to have to go to the next line because I'm out of space. The five is in the what space? 100 THS, hundredths. So word form. Eight and three hundred five hundredths. Let's see. Next one, let's go to expanded form. The old fourth grade version. And we could say this is eight plus. What's the three? Three is in the tenths plus nothing's in the hundredths. We have zero. We can move down to the the thousandths plus five over 1,000. Let's do it as powers of 10. E, F, P, T, expanded form, powers of 10. Eight times one plus one or three times one tenth plus five times one hundredth. Now, you will utilize this information. It might not be super clear right away, but today you will be looking at some Think Central let's see, unit two, lesson two, PMT homework. You will get a chance to practice this skill. If you need to, take a moment to finish your notes. Otherwise, have a great day.